So just your chance for 15 minutes of fame yeah, or whatever, you, you know. All right, the uh, metro area is home to a lot of award-winning talent, but we found a gem hidden away in the Kirkwood neighborhood. Yeah, he's part of a group that has an out-of-state name, but he calls Atlanta home. Good days, Tacoma Perry is here with his story. Good morning, Tacoma. And good morning, guys. Yeah, you talk about 15 minutes of fame. These guys have had 70 years <laughs> of fame. I love you know, the Blind Boys of Alabama are known for their harmonies and unique arrangements, but there may be something you didn't know about one of the members. He's not from Alabama. <laughs> it's not every day you see a legend just walking down the street, even in Atlanta. Step down, look at it. Uh -huh. You may not recognize him, but he's one fifth of the iconic gospel group, uh -huh. the Blind Boys of Alabama. But not all the guys are from Alabama. So you're from Atlanta? Right, my career started right here in Atlanta, and I am a native Atlanta. I was born here and went to school here. And this is where I'm from. Ricky McKinney has been with the group nearly 40 years, first as their business manager, then a drummer, and now as one of the main singers. The Blind Boys have had a career that spanned 70 years. There's only one founding member still alive, but the group made up of blind singers continues to perform to large crowds and don't seem to be hindered whatsoever by their blindness. I can't see you. I've always said that uh, I'm not blind, I just can't see, which means that uh, I might have lost my sight, but I never lost my direction. So I can't tell you what it's like being blind, but I can tell you what it's like performing. It's great. And they've recorded with everyone from Vince Gill to Ben Harper, and McKinney says there's no slowing down. When the people enjoy what you're doing, you know, what's from the heart reaches the heart. So we, string, we sing straight from the soul. At McKinney's Kirkwood home, his office is like a museum. The mantle holds his six Grammy Awards, including one not many other artists can say they have, a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. When McKinney's not planning the next tour with the group's tour manager and his brother, Chuck Shivers, you can catch McKinney in his home studio recording his solo album. He also speaks to groups of kids, and his message, like the group's music, is simple yet powerful. I've always been a dreamer, but if you can dream the dream, do the work, keep the faith, things usually work out okay. Wow, and, it's and it has worked out okay for the Blind Boys of Alabama. They still tour more than 200 days of the year. They're in town today, though, this weekend, and they'll be performing Friday at Chastain Park with Al Green. Oh, for more information oh. on getting tickets to this Friday show, just log on to our website at myfoxatlanta.com. And wow. I was talking to you guys during the break. Every Saturday morning, we had to clean the house. <laughs> and then my grandmother's it. house, my mother and my grandmother both love the Blind Boys of Alabama. So that's so what you were cleaning That's what we were cleaning to. The, the, and you, can I tell you, younger groups today can yeah. take notes from them. They've been in the business 70 years. Yes. They're doing something yes. right. And they do take notes from them. A lot of younger groups say that the Blind Boys of Alabama are uh -huh. an influence on them. So, Definitely. Mr. Great McKinney, sound. silky sharp. <laughs> man, silky sharp. 8 o'clock in the I morning. Wake it. up in a suit. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, man. I love that. All right, Tacoma. Tacoma, thank you. <laughs>